We are just a few weeks away from the Ryder Cup as the golf spotlight will shine bright on Wisconsin. I'm here at the first tee box at Whistling Straits where it will be one of the best scenes in all of sports. First tee at the Ryder Cup is, you know, I liken it to a, a big college football game or uh, to a European football match. It's just going to be electric. Every two years, the individual sport of golf becomes the ultimate team event and the ultimate fan event. The 12 best from the United States against the 12 best from Europe will make their way to Kohler. Golf is booming and I think everyone is, you know, thirsty, you know, for this Ryder Cup. Wisconsin's own Steve Stricker is the captain. You know, truly humbled by this opportunity because it's, uh, you know, I'm very passionate about this uh, competition. And home field advantage is a real thing in this event. Stricker and his team can set up the course to fit his players' strengths. Captain Stricker made a few small tweaks. Um, you know, he does have an impact on tee locations and pin locations and um, length of the rough and things like that. So our grounds crew is working on some of that stuff um, as we speak to get prepared. Here's a look at the golfers who have already secured a Ryder Cup spot for Team USA. <laughs> Colin Morikawa, Dustin Johnson, Bryson DeChambeau, Brooks Kepka, Justin Thomas, and Patrick Cantlay. Then Steve Stricker has six captain's picks. The likes of Tony Finau, Xander Shoffley, and Jordan Spieth are among the locks. Stricker will have a tougher time picking three of the following. Harris English, Patrick Reed, Daniel Berger, Webb Simpson, Scotty Scheffler, and Kevin Kisner. So how does the event work? There will be three days of match play competition. Friday and Saturday will feature foursomes in the morning and four ball in the afternoon. Foursomes is also known as alternate shot, so partners will take turns hitting every other shot. The lowest score between the teams wins the hole. In four ball, every player plays their own ball and finishes the hole. Put the U.S. ahead of the match for the first time today. The best score between the two players counts as the team score. Sunday will feature 12 singles matches. Between the three days, there are 28 matches, so 28 points are at stake. The team to win 14 and a half wins the Ryder Cup. And six straight Ryder Cups for Europe. Recent history has not been kind to Team USA. Europe has won seven of the last nine Ryder Cups, but the U.S. won the last time it was held on their home turf in 2016. It all becomes official on Monday when Steve Stricker makes his six captain's picks to round out the 12-man team who will make their way here to Whistling Straits for the Ryder Cup beginning on September 24th. Back to you in studio.